Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a pack opening with this chilling green. I pulled these from a couple of different boxes such as like Bolton V boxes, Dragonite boxes. And I thought I was just gonna hold on to them. They're easier to store even though realistically, I kind of did it in a dumb way. I probably should have just kept them in the box but I didn't really have enough space for it so I had to take it out. So we'll be opening these later on in the video. But first I wanna hop into these two packages I got in the mail. These are things that I'm probably gonna buy in, or I should say I bought and hold, but um, I had to buy a little extra because it was supposed to be like a certain amount of shipping. So we'll see what we got. And I also, as you can see, I started filling in some of the Silver Tempest Trainer Gallery. I realized I am missing one, which is the Melodic. So I will uh, get that later on, as well as try and get the Reading Drafty because I need that. And we'll, we'll, you will be seeing some, uh, if you have not already seen more Silver Tempest along the way. So. There we go. All right, let's break into this. Open the gold package first. Enough talking, we'll be fast with it. I like faster videos. I'm kind of getting into being a little more quicker with the videos. That way not as much time goes by. Here we go. First package. Pull the cards. And just for sake of time, we're gonna open up the second package also so we can save a little bit of of time. Open it up and just put it on this table. Here we go. So this is package number two. Keep that till right. All right, let's get right into this. So first package going in. Again, there's a few cards I really, really wanted. And then those other cards I just got as like collateral, meaning like I had to get it. So let's go one by one. Oh yeah, this is the Blast Hoist from Celebrations. This is definitely a buy and hold card for me. Um, the seller had this one, one available along with the other one, so I decided to pick this up just because, you know, when you look at a seller, you kind of go through the whole list of what cards are selling and see what you like, and I decided to pick up this near mint copy of a Blast Hoist. I think it's near mint. Let me pull this one out. Yep, see, it's near mint, and it's really cool. Did you see that? It's like a little circle, which I found really, really cool, so pretty pretty solid pickup I'm um, definitely gonna hold on to this one put this one to sleep real quick this one's in really good condition so this seller is most likely gonna be a solid solid seller with the rest of his cards so I don't need to go ahead and sleep up all of them I'm just gonna sleep up this one and then move along because we have a lot to get into today so there it is bam second card is going to be a Mimikyu VMAX this was just like a really cheap card I think it was like a dollar or two um, just kind of thrown in there as like a con uh, I don't know the word, something with a C. Complimentary card, yeah. I got this Flygon VMAX and Brilliant Stars, also super nice. It was like $3, $2, 3 um, I picked up another one of, of, of these Pikachu Trainer Gallery cards. I just really like this. And having a bunch of copies to see which ones I can grade is super nice. So, solid pickup as well. Buy and hold for that one as well. Um, Hisuian Azura V Star. He had one available. It wasn't too expensive, and I do like the coloring on this one. So, I decided to pick it up because I really, really like it. I don't mind having a, a lot of copies of certain cards that I like. And then finally, with this last seller, we have an Umbreon VMAX. And this is the main card I bought it for. I could never pull this from Brilliant Stars, so I decided to freaking buy it. Because sometimes you can't waste that much time. Like, if you are if you have a full-time job and you're trying to open Pokemon cards on the side and stuff like that, it, you've, it's really hard to find time to, one, buy the cards um, at a decent price. And two, find time to open the cards let alone opening like a billion packages or a billion, um, what's it called? A billion packs trying to open the, the Umbreon VMAX, but look at this card. It's super nice. This one's in near mint condition. I paid about like 20 to 25 for this card. Is, wait a minute. Do you guys see that? Wait, that's off centered a little bit. I'm not there to play. What? Wait, is this card? Is this card like really, um, do something real quick. Yeah, this card's really uh, off-centered. I didn't realize that. See, like there's no blackboard on the bottom, it just goes straight down. That's actually really rare. I'm probably gonna have to swap this card up, which means I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one. Whoa. Yeah, no, I need a better copy. It's a nice copy, but it's off, it's miscut or something like that off-centered. So that's, Gonna have to be. Take another copy of it. Dang. 
Okay, I mean, it's fine. I'm sure I can get um, a good price for this back. I'm not returning it, I'll just sell it myself. All right, next package. In some cases, um, off-center cards are worth a little bit more. Most cases, if you find the right buyer. But finding the right buyer is not easy. See what we got here. They're all in nice little things for me, so I don't have to to do anything with this one. Let's see what this is. This is a Nessa, a nice Nessa card. I do like Nessa and Marnie a lot, so uh, and some of the other trainer gallery cards, like the, the the female trainers, are really nice. Second card up on the dock is going to be oh nice, dude. This is the Calyrex Shadow Calyrex V Max. Um, trainer Gallery 18. This one I really, really like. I think this one will go up in value. So this one was a buy and hold for me. Um, the coloration is really beautiful on this. You have the the trainer there going along with them. So it's just a really, really nice artwork. And I think that over time, um, this card will get appreciated. Or will appreciate and get appreciated. Double appreciation. <laughs> so it's a nice card. So I plan on holding on to this card for a while. And then seeing it appreciate and maybe getting rid of it later or keeping it for my personal collection if I find another copy. Hopefully I can get two of them. Obama Snow, that was just a really cheap card thrown in there. Uh, same thing as Ambition, like a 5 to $10 card. It, the artwork is okay, but since the character is a very popular character, I think I can probably hold this one and sell it later on down the line for like a good markup, probably. And then the Charizard V-Star is about 15 um, this card, I think, is actually it's pretty solid, pretty underrated, in my opinion. It's only $15 right now, which is pretty, pretty low, in my opinion. Um, I could see this card jumping up to, like, 30 or even 40 down the line, so why not pick up a copy now? Maybe two copies. Um, I don't have this card yet, so one of them will go in my personal collection. Or if I can get a really solid copy to grade, I'll do that. Um, I haven't graded any cards yet, just because... I have to do research on the process, but in the future, I will definitely grade some cards. So that's going to be it for the um, for the cards that I bought. And then I did, again, pull these from different types of boxes. I just pulled four. I have, like, a stack of, like, random Pokemon packs that, uh, that I picked up from. Um, like, I pulled out a box and just... I'm kind of buying and hold, or not buying and holding, but holding on to them for later. Um, but I do want to open Chilling Rain since this, this pack is going up and up in value. Um, but I do need a lot of the Chilling Rain cards, and they are really, really beautiful. So hopefully we can get, like, the Articuno, the Rapidash, all that. So let's go. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right, let's check the back. Pretty solid so far. We have a Water Energy. A Haunter, a Doctor, a Celio, a Lapras card, Blitzel, Aaron, Deerling, Deadly Bird, a Reverse Hollow Golurk, and for a hit we have a Hollow Taurus. Okay, interesting. Not the best start. But we have three more tries. I was going to open a ton today, but... I just feel like a little bit of uh, mixed content would be pretty enjoyable to watch. You know, some, we're gonna break right through this one. Some um, stuff that I bought, as well as some openings. Shuppet, Castrum, Ghastly, Kupfu, Hatena, Reverse Hollow Cast Form. And our Viper is going to be the hit. Viper is pretty cool, but a non hollow nonetheless. Water Energy, you got Karen's Convictions, Weeding Gloves, and Echo Horn is, Horn is the three trainers. Let me see if I can get this video under 10 minutes. That'd be sweet. Ooh, this pack was real sticky. Chilling Rain has been really, like, honestly, the, the hardest set for me to hit anything good. Like, it really has been. It's been almost nearly impossible. That's why I opened so many of Chilling Rain and blasted this one as well. But it's been pretty tough. Got Sobble, Boon Sweet, Fur Fruit, Diglett, Larvesta. Have Weeding Gloves, Reverse Hollow, and then an Ampharos as our rare. Psychic like Energy, Whirly P, the Wacky, and a Rugged Helmet. Last pack of Chilling Rain to end off the video. Will we end off on a good note? Will we end off on a good note? Let's find out. Turn. And burn. Turn and burn. That's the name of the game. 
All right, let's go through this one. Aaron, Snow Run, Verlipede, Snowver, we got Slow Poke, Reverse Hollow Crushing Gloves, and then a Go Lurk as our rare. And that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.